Tares over towards Ivy, but actually he uh, he well elude them for the time being. It's Woxic who looks to be this uh -oh. first point of contact. And uh -oh. He might be in for a world of hurt. He will get shut down. Cross towards the site. Yeah, and you can kind of see, right, it, it looked like their big one entirely committed. The bomb hadn't rotated down yet. It's not until they don't spot a player close within the bomb site that they realize, well, with no one in connector and them only holding the cross, we don't need smokes to get into B. We're already in the uh, the bomb site itself. And now with that bomb down, 3v4 for Mouse Sports on this retake, they've got a hell of a lot of work to do. And Smoo, you're actually making that task seem that much harder now as he takes down Frozen. Carrigan and Chris J, all that remain, and oh, they are bye. getting shut down. Ooh, Chris J with a nice point of train. You're only going to have Glocks. It's going to make it very uh, you know, limiting. But look at Smoo, you're able to take these really, really aggressive fights, keep Mouse Sports out of the bomb site, and lock in a pistol. And I think that's because he's got the flashbang as well. Oh, no. That's How? to try and give Wox the peak there. These smokes. Oh, oh, there we go. He's going to get the first. Looking to follow up. And Woxic, he will get the double. Smooth has dropped. And Ivy Control taken now for Mouse Sports. Big. They try and turn their attention elsewhere, but it's not to. Uh, not to their best results. Carrigan getting the man out from main. Now leaves Tapson alone at the A site, trying desperately to deal with Frozen. He gets boxed in as well. Carrigan doubling up. And it is just Centares alone. So. A lot of work here for one man in a round that should have been bigs all along. I mean, how on earth does Woxic stay alive so long in the Ivy? He gets a reload off there with the SMG before, you know, Big even realized that he's still behind the dumpster, doesn't bail, commits to two kills, and even though Santaras has taken him down, as you said, Harry, it is a one on three. It is a nearly done round here at this point. Zantaris just looks to hold onto the gun, but you can see from the top side, Carrigan's already come through to cut him off, and you haven't missed anything. Just Zantaris dying. Yeah. He's back. That decision to quickly tabs and, and Rops, looking like they might go blow for blow over here at B, and uh -oh. Rops is making some noise. That's all it's going to take for Tizian to shut him down, and you can see Penny's dropped. They're straight down into that B site. Woxic's been dropped. And, uh, well, this is already a very good round for Big, one that they should really just look to close out from here on in. This little flank from Chris J and Frozen is really the only thing that could maybe make a difference. <laughs> Even then, it's a one for one. So yeah, for Frozen over towards main. Second. No need for Smooth to really do anything. He thinks Smooth really is an interesting talking point, right? You know, at least in terms of map pool for big, uh, training to go, you've got to definitely realize, or sorry, think rather, that a large reason that big want to play this map has got to be Smooth, right? The yeah. addition of that AWP. That, I mean, you know, I make their presence known from Ivy. 15 seconds or just under left on the clock. They've really got to get a move on. Tapson's already fallen. Eight seconds. There's just no time. Surely they're trying to get into the site, but Woxic doesn't even That's have to hit the shot. The round was already over. He's done more. More than that anyway, finding a double. Round ends, Tizzy and step off the plat. Not gonna happen. Smuya is nearby though. Flash is coming into the A site now and finally they're gonna make their move. It's a one for one immediately with players coming out through both Tcon and Pop Dog. Tapson, he's in the yard. Smuya's found another opening kill. That's Chris going down and Woxie can have no impact into this round. He's just been fully smoked off. Similar story for Rops who does go up on the boost but there's a smoke on the bomb trade. He can't do anything right now. Big have time to work this site and Tapson's found another kill onto Woxie deep in CT. Carrigan going wide finds a single frag and they still don't know the Rops is here but the drop off might give away the fact that there's two CTs in the site. Nade certainly does. Bomb plant attempted, but Smooth has got the cover. And it's an interesting one to see. Armor P2K in round number nine. Oh, he's got double naded. Well, Woxing's gone, mate. Good thing we didn't hand that off over to him. Yeah, <laughs> he's just been naded. It's out of Carrigan's the mark towards Carrigan and Rops, really, to do the bulk of the heavy lifting. That flashbang is enough to fire Time. a shot out from Carrigan. And yeah, they've paused. They've taken a breather. Next. 15 seconds. They've got to commit next. Oh, oh Carrigan's seen him. Carrigan knows. They lose Rops instantly inside of the bomb site. There's players all around Carrigan. Surely he's not going to survive this. And indeed, he does not. He will be calling. Everyone is. Yeah. For him to say it, the 15... Mouse Sports. Hunkering down into the A site. They will find Tabson initially. And Big now trying to split into B. Trying to go on the back of this fake A execute that they threw oh, in, but they haven't accounted for one man who still resides inside of the bomb site, and that is Woxic. He's got this orb, and he's dancing it around wraps. the bomb train. They've wrapped all around him, though, and that smoking connector blocks off vision. So it's allowed for this oh. wrap, and the kills are still coming in for big. It's a 2v3. Next, 11 points of health. Tizian's gone through. Rops does spot him. That almost gets dangerous for a second, but now it has dropped the bomb at the feet of Mouse Sports. They'll mop that up. Play here. Oh, 
Hello, Chris J has gotten aggressive towards Tcon and he's put taps him down to 15. That's good damage. He'll convert it onto Zantares. Tizzy can get out through Pop Dog, but there's still players all over this site. Mouse Sports up at a four on Chris J. He wants to end this as soon as possible. Smooth is not ready for the aggressive main push, and now it is just taps and tagged up earlier, looking to get finished off, and he will. But no one spotted. And again, Mouse Sports, they love this AMA control, but this time Zantorez was ready for it, holding and taking down Chris J. But does he know there's a second man in position? Smoke's going in, but it's only one man looking to really play off oh, the back dear. of them. Oh dear, Frozen. These flashes have given him a gateway now. He'll wait and he'll shut down two. Oh, he stopped the push. Get out of the A site. Frozen. Seven to six. Frozen. Given uh, but Smuya throws the bomb to this, uh, the person who's already out through main. Frozen, he sees this bomb and he just spins and takes the kill. Proud. The drive by knife, Harry. I've never seen a drive by knife. And there he goes. He's taken that initial fight. It is actually next to get the better of him. Oh, but here's Rops dear. arriving on a flank. And these flanks have been nothing but problems for Big. This time they actually are able to get a handle on it pretty damn quickly. And it yeah, I imagine we might have seen a, a play back towards that B site from Big. The second they peeled out from main, that's what I was anticipating. Instead, they turned their attention towards Ivy and they have found Chris J. That first kill going their way, but they've got to follow up and they're not able to do so. It's Smuya alone in this 1v2. Oh, and he's not going to get around the corner. Favoured of the day, and he's cleared a lot of ground here. He might even spot these two players with utility. Oh, but oh, Frozen no. was waiting. Anything on the ground. Frozen staring at pixels that don't exist. And that's the bomb, Harry. It's just gone flying, tumbling into the air. Tapson's found an opening kill on the CT side. And Zantaris has pushed up to the position that Smuya was in. Two kills. Rops trying to trade it back out. But surely this one's out of the question. One on three. They're all over the site. And they have the bomb. Yeah, Rops does have a P250, though. And uh, I was going to say... Fake merit here at the Pro League. Uh, yeah, Mal's just going to commit to be Ooh. Tizzy and holding close on the ramp. And actually, that smoke does leave him blind. He tries to go pushing through it, and he'll get shut down as a result. So the bomb plant at least locked in for Mal's. And the key word there is at least 3v3 as Woxic has shut down Zantares on this retake. Oh, but crossing through the smoke, Chris gets caught by Tabson. And now it just leaves one man on the site. One man who has successfully made it back into the box was Woxic. He's just staying alive for the 1v3 unless Frozen can make his job easier. And that's going to be a kill that certainly will. Dropping Tapson from above and Frozen's found Smuya as well. There's no giving up here for Mal Sports, even in the Ecos. Next is going to have to clutch it, but he can't find this. the wave into the second half. Now they're going to be left either, you know, forced by wars, which is never fun uh, when you're already losing or having to take an Eco and giving Mal Sports yet another round. Purchase here for big. They try and get the force by wars going, and that's not a bad start. Some good damage found on the back of utility tabs and in with a kill from the scout. And so, actually, already you've done decent damage if your big Zintara is actually able to extend it even further. And they're trying oh, to, they, they are closing the gap. I was going to say they're trying to close the gap. They are getting closer to this site, but it's at quite the cost. And now, more players getting digged down, getting put. The solo HP, I mean, Woxic, one point of health. This man is dead if someone so much as looks at him the wrong way. And so he's just got to sit back. He's really waiting for Frozen to do the, the heavy lifting in this round. He's waiting for his point guard to oh, get in there. Yes. And he's just going to get shut down at the first hurdle. Woxic, one point of health and a dream. 1v3 required. Surely not. Surely this is big stealing around back. And they don't even know that Tissian is coming in on this flank. He's been going all the way from B through T spawn, and now he's in the back lines. Oh dear, what a round for Big as we make all the difference there for Big. And Harry, we have got quite a battle on our hands now here for the first map of this season of Pro. God, he's looking a little worse for wear <laughs> towards Ivy, but it looks like the B play is hoping to be the answer for Mowers, but it, it might not be, right? Tizzy and oh, Smooth. What a play doing such a good job of locking down this bomb site. Smuya just dancing through those smokes and Woxic even trying to bail. He's trying to get out of there and he has managed to get up through the ramp. So now you look Ooh. towards Chris J. You look at this man to try and secure this A site while Woxic is rotating down. He's not going to go down through the pop dog. Instead, it's a lengthy rotation in through main. And that ultimately might be their demise, right? Chris J getting dealt with by next in the connector. And for Woxic... All it's left to do now is the honorable thing, 1v4.
Yeah. He'll walk to his demise. And it's big to take. Those T's are not going to be able to see the flash. It's hidden, but they will certainly get blinded. And and he just peeks out aggressively after the smoke with that. You can see blind Frozen was running through with that, you know. Again, as, as mentioned, this is not a map that Big have really frequented in the past few months. So you talk about research, Harry. It's not really a lot of sports could have done in, uh, in this map, at least. They are getting by on their own individual merit, though. Four on four here. Rops gets a crucial trade down towards B. That flash to get back up. It's actually going through the window into A. Rops playing delayed. Chris, he's got a lot of room to work with. And Zantara is getting caught in the open. Smear spots him. Gets attacked through the wall, but barely any damage off of that AWP. He's going to need to be the sole defender right now. Tapson is preoccupied with Rops' position. And Mouseports are already starting to wrap through CT. Yeah, if you're Tapson, you, you kind of need Tizian to maybe help you out a bit here. Oh, you can see dear. he gets caught swinging back out into the A site. It is. Allows Mouseports to get out into the site, and you can see it was just confused. More of that, Harry, as we continue with the second half. This boost doesn't often get used, but I like the idea of, of throwing a T up on there after you throw a smoke. It's typically going to be pretty dangerous if there are multiple CTs watching it, but no one... Uh, this is really, I, I feel like, one of the one of the big CT sides. Smoke's going into the A site initially, but Zantares, oh. this time, not giving any love to Rops over in the pop dog. Man advantage taken. Bit more damage found on a Frozen. It's Carrigan who oh. tries to swing out and get an equalizer. Instead, the man advantage. A bit, little damage. And actually gives him a chance to scope up. Tapson can't see because of the bloomed smoke from that nade. And Woxic will be able to get a return frag. Another follow up from Frozen, but traded. And Chris coming through the pop dog at the perfect time. 2v2. Mouseports don't have to commit. They don't have to dedicate into A. They could have peeled off, but the time for that is gone now. Oh. Smooya not able to deny the bomb plant through the smoke. And so suddenly all this patience that Big have been exuding actually becomes something turned against them. It's Smooya 1v2 inside of the site. Chris J. They're countering his strength. As they're, as they're doing new things on this seat to how these uh, these big brain boys are playing on the other side of things. It's up in the Dane brain, Harry. And we know Dane brains are, are very different to regular brains. They hold it off into Sandwich. Interestingly enough, that was thrown in by Mouse. That cuts the bomb off. And Carrigan actually has to go running through that for a bit of damage. Bomb now dropped inside of the site. Carrigan trying to plug in those numbers. Ooh. And he is getting the bomb down. It will get planted. Tabson shutting down Chris J. Carrigan from inside of the site really has to do a hell of a lot here. And Tabson, a man who has not missed much yet, trying to step up to the plate from Ivy. Carrigan inside of the site shut down. And it's Woxic alone. One 1v2, oh. the flank from next comes in, and he is not the round for big as they managed to make that retake happen. Crazy. Big were completely baited into the B site as well. They had three players on B. Works it out in their favor. Mouseport spe uh, spent so long getting out into A that Nex is able to once again wrap all the way from B through the T spawn. And see it. Yeah, what else would we want here, Harry? Opening game of Pro League, opening group of Pro League. Ooh, and it's already close as ever. Speaking of close, Chris J, close to finding Smooya there. There's no way you anticipate him being this deep inside of the site. Smooya's just been shut down, and he's kind of scratching his head, because now as Nex comes in for this rotation, he's got to take time trying to clear connector. Never mind, round's done. What yeah, J have, uh, have shut down absolutely. Uh so 14 rounds for Mouse Sports. They at least lock that in, but... Well, I think, like you say, is all right. So much of this UT from Big is is to stop Woxic, and so Chris J this round just goes. Well, if you're just going to be smoking this off for the sake of disallowing these long sight lines and not actually playing with the smokes, I'm just going to double up on the retake. Yikes! And it really feels like that's how it could end. It lets Tizian and never lets it begin. He will shut down the first. Oh, he's followed up. But the trade found by Chris J at least gives Mouse Sports a small window of opportunity. And looking through it right now. Rops up on the rafters. That was actually Chris J's flash to hit him fully there. Oh, Rops. No. Uh oh, oh no. Uh oh. Two v two now from nowhere, and the bomb down planted for heaven and ramp. That's where Chris J and Rops are for the time being. And Chris J might even get the information that both players are here. He's just hunting the kills down, and Rops cementing it with three between them. They get the job done. All five kills for the last two remaining players of Mouse Sports. They'll take that <laughs> first map. And they'll go 1-0 up in the opening best of three. I think he was one of the first players to speak about it so openly as well, was Rops. So uh, let's see. Oh, oh, oh 
not as much as I was hoping for. Instead, it's Carrigan inside of the bomb site. He's got a lot of work to do, and he'll get shut down almost immediately. Frozen and Moxic left up 2v3. This was looking like it could have been a great start for Mouse Sports, but great shots landed from the big boys and trades getting found. Now leave this one 2v2. They'll deal with Tizian over in middle and Moxic is now in a very, very tough spot indeed. Two players to find both on the other side of these doors. Neither, neither player having a peek into him and they know it. I mean, what can he really do here? No kit. He's grabbed off the ground. The flash is there. He taps the bomb. Are they going to be baited in? Oh, next goes for it. But now they can just bail again. Big. They know that he's not on the bomb. So this is a done round. Woxic's just on damage control. Absent over in mid. Yeah, and the window smoke coming down. Or door smoke rather from mid. So, you know, his teammate is going to be cut out of the sight. Robs has to do it all right now. And he will get one. Delaying them for enough time that Woxic can rotate out of middle. And he's dropped Smooya coming through. Still pivoting around the site. There's a player from the tunnels coming in late. And Tabson able to get that kill as Woxic was scoped in, Psychops mode on the B site. Three on three here as the plant begins to be put through for big. They have a Molotov for the doors or the window rather. Carrigan's going to be able to get a kill in the meantime. Next, again, just stalling this as long as he can, but Mouseports have the advantage on the retake and they've got the kits to play with. Oh, next, making this a two on two into that little crossfire. Oh. Go. Very good start over on the T side. They go running into that round from Chris J. They ascertain that that position's clear, but at the same time, they realize they've lost the A site. Carrigan, it's all about damage. He's just got to try and get a few kills before that bomb gets planted, but fully flashed and in the face. Tabson goes in for a double, and this is just a done round. This is over. Mouseports have to hold onto their guns. Site, that's usually as teams are just kind of beginning to work their way up. Roads, they have a very good idea as to where Carrigan realistically is, right? They kind of know, okay, well, the odds are he's going to be floating over towards short. He's looking at the crossroads. There's no way he's expecting this. So they just barrel in. They shut up Carrigan. They find the rest of uh, the players in tow. And it's only Chris J to survive at the end of this round. So uh, another round for big. Mouse Sports yet to put one up on their CT side. Yeah, the one thing that Big has been really impressing me with, especially on training, is just the utility usage on this T side. When we would see that BXX, I feel like your opponent is almost in your head, right? Like they know what you're doing before you even know what you're doing. Yeah. So, yeah, this is working out ah, well for them. Like, okay. The game plan I'm, is there. I'm liking that. Thank you for that little drop in there. Ooh. To the foothills of this A bomb site, they get up the ramp. They're closing the gap. They've at least converted this back into a three on three. Chris J is going to get spotted out on the elbow. Ooh, I like but that. I like that little yeah. bait and set because now they've positioned Frozen here, hidden in the corner at Gandalf to slowly creep out. And they've got no clue that he was ever this close. Next gets found. Rops follows up. He's able to pick up that M4 and finish the player off on the site. So, yeah, really nice setup. A bit of a cheese strat from Mouse Sports, but it works out wonderfully on and they win it, Harry. So, more than profitable and big digs from Frozen here in middle, getting two one digs and then even closing out the round there, as you can see. Big send three players out through long. Carrigan with the spot and the smoke. That's a great way of delaying this push as well. Gives him some time to move and the flash is there, but the kill isn't. Tizian ready for that. Woxic trying to re-aggress. There's tw 28 seconds left on the clock here. Woxic needs to hit a shot and he does it again, but it's only a leg. Only damage off this AWP. And Woxic, three bullets all connecting. None of them killing. Big still have a chance. Mate, they've got more than a chance. They've got the bomb site. Everything's gone their way. And Rops, I mean, how can he really know how much damage has been done? The M4. The problem is now they know where he is. He lifted his little head up above the ramp, and so Tizian's going to take it off. 20 seconds is bigger coming out through long. They've thrown a very big fake into that B site. They threw them into B smoke. They had someone in the tunnel setting up utility, baiting Rops in, and, and then they come out through long at the 25-second mark. They've got smoke goes up to allow Smoothie to peek the catwalk, and... Moxic looking for that jewel. Smoothie is ready and waiting on the other side. Bad advantage taken now. There's the response from Chris J at the very least. A 4v4, 45 seconds. This is, even though it's not a great start, one of the best. Give it a few more seconds and it'll be very clear where Big are going. 20 seconds on the clock. Zantara's in the spawn. He's dropped into that smoke. Karen spotted him, but Zantara's gets away with a frag. Frozen, he's dropped the bomb. He just needs to stay alive. Delay this bomb part, but he's getting wrapped. Smuya with the pistol out, locking him down. What a huge kill from him. It's just one man left up. Chris J with the AWP and the Molotov on short will keep him back. 
What a round for Big. Another 20 second push that seems to have gone their way. And I don't think Chris throwing in like these constant, you know, big, crazy, elaborate fakes or anything along those lines. It is just a group of, uh, of five players <laughs> trusting in the calls that Tabson gives and uh, and all going in on the back of it, right? All just kind of playing the uh, the numbers game and there's safety in numbers as big uh, figuring out right now. So a 10-1 lead. I mean, what are you loving this from big? They're, they're always so eager to uh, not always, it's just every now and again they'll try and go on the back of a big kill like that. This time though it could be to their demise. Frozen doubling down over in mid and Rops hidden in that smoke. One man's got him by him though and he's not ready. So the trade will come in. Rotations from ours. Finally they're sat a man up. 3v2 as this bomb tries to get into B and it will get by. Molotov in the window, smoke in the door. Aid from Carrigan finds a bit more damage, but it's big. Tabson and Zantara's the troublesome two, oh. so mocked up by the IGL. A mouse sports forward, big. Back to the drawing. To rattle Chris into getting aggressive. And yeah, just little stuff like that for mouse sports. Can't afford to show if they want to still be in this map and or series. It's Tizian, the man hoping to tie this whole round together, looking to sell an A lurk in these closing few bits of the round. Maybe just going to look to try and cut off these rotations. All these nades going into B have more than made the presence of Big Noah. And mouse sports will be shutting them down one at a time. Smooya. Ooh, he will get another, but surely this is where it stops. Surely this is where you put Smoogie to bed. And indeed it is. Frozen shutting to the end after he gets one of those two players on only 10 points of health. Have no rotations to conduct in that round. They have everyone on playing sites. So really nice uh, third locked in. And Chris J going to take the back. Oh, Rob's getting caught in mid. Smoogie is going to get away with that frag on the AWP. And it seems that big. Do you want to commit towards B still? They run back towards the tunnels. That smoke is down once again. And Chris J, he's left the site. He's left the round. Tapson's caught him with the Krieg. And B is empty. Rotate again. And Mouse Sports are desperate to get as many of these kills while they can before that bomb goes down. And they know that Centares is still here in middle. He is just a thorn in their sides, though. Oh, that nade not quite finding Smoogia. That might have made all the difference for Maus. It's Woxic and it's Frozen. Oh, 2v3. Dear. That Molotov falling in the window. When that one fades, there's a follow-up that can go in from Zintares. That goes in now. Oh. And for Maus, the penny's going to start to drop, right? Eventually, they might just have to go through some of this utility. Finally, the barrage has come to an end. And now they try and play on the back of it. Frozen first man in into this deadly, deadly crossfire that's set up. And he'll be the last of to three. Big, a monstrous T side. Now moving into the CT half where they look to take us the day. 12 to three at the end of that first half. And you can see those Betway odds have really closed down Ooh. from the very one-sided story they were earlier on. Great shot, Wolf. Flashes to go through. Tabson wants to try and get some information, take a ranged fight. He'll spot Carragon up close, accidentally killing Chris J, but he will take it. That bomb has been dropped. And Carragon, he may be on the site, but he doesn't have the package. Those smokes have now faded. This is going to make things very difficult for Mousepods, but not if they get all the kills. And that is exactly what they're doing. Tizian stuck in the spawn. No bomb needed. It's still early days, but uh, certainly a step in the right direction. Oh. Oh, Tabson. Oh, I, I mean, there's not even a smoke down, is there? Yeah, now now they throw one in. Now they realize uh, maybe this is something we should have done a little bit sooner. As Tabson on a roll in this round, Woxic has managed to get up onto the ramp, and Rops is trying to oh. hold this smoke, but they just flash straight. In. I didn't catch those uh, those kills, but what? Ah. Did Mouseports not smoke it? Did they just decide to cross blind? I guess yeah, we'll see. Yeah, yeah they, they just, just try and take cross. open fights, and Tabson. Just outside of the doors, Flash goes a little too high and Zantares has dodged it as a result. They try and trade him and that's actually just feeding the beast. They send more into the moors of Zantares. Woxic looking to go blow for blow with his uh, Turkish brethren down in the pit. Zantares 
Still holding on. Still ready oh, and waiting. Dear. In with a third. Oh, and the fourth as well. He's looking for the ace. He's not going to get it. Carrigan denies him that. But a 1v2 now required. What a round from Waxic. Oh, for, sorry, from Centares. Surely he doesn't expect this position either. Fake plant. Oh, dear. Carrigan. That, I mean, that's a fair, uh, you know, despite being a dominant game, a, a really exciting one. We've had some close rounds, but finally Big are going to lock in 15, Harry. And, you know, the timing of these flashbangs, very unfortunate for Mouse Sports, right? They blind Zantaras right after. Yeah, the decision, all that's left in the tank for Mao is a good old B hit. Will it prevail? They've been able to get past the first man. Next up on this boost, yet to fire off a shot. And now he makes his presence known. He's even able to get out of danger before Woxic becomes a problem. And next, he might just get them all. Never mind, Rops on one point of health to snatch that dream away. But he will offer himself up to Smooya and promptly be dealt with. Hugo, we are going the distance. We are going all three. Inferno to close out this series one to one right now. After they trade map picks with one another, it is the proving ground. That dis well, still the favourites coming into this final map of the series. And I would agree with that. But Big have done nothing but impress today. Falling short on their map pick just and decimating mouse balls and dust too. They look to head to Inferno. And a fast play at Banana for Chris will get responded by a kill from Zantara's. Now, does that bait them into going aggressive on the Banana? Because if they do, Rops is waiting in the wings, sitting log side. The timing, oh, what a shot. Mid-air, Zantara's getting his head ripped off. That might force a rotate off of uh, A right now, and that would be a very bad time for that to happen. Luckily, Smuya will commit to this long position as these Ts come flying through middle, maybe even trying to get their way into the CD spawn. They still have Rops and the Banana to go for a B split, and Smuya will give them the passage. There's nothing else he can do. Can't get a kill, and Mouseports are suddenly in behind enemy lines. Tapson trying to cut off this play, but it still leaves Rops with uh, room to move through this Banana. And there's still a player that hasn't been spotted yet. So Mouse Sports have to take a bit of time here to try and clear this B site. They will now get that bomb down. Oh. And they've actually dealt with Smoothie in amongst the rotations. He gets found there in that smoke. Tabson, Tizian, next. 3v3 on this retake now. And Rops winning his fight over at Banana. Helped out by another one going the way of Mouse Sports. It's next oh. left up alone. He will take that first man down. But there's this crossfire between Frozen and Rops. They're just waiting for that contact to get made. And there's Frozen swinging wide. The two young guns there for Mouse Sports doing it all. The five kills between the two of them split you know maybe it would have been a whole different story if smooth didn't get shot through the smoke in that kill but uh yeah retake is, is not going to be coming through for big in this and mouse sports finally kicking things off spotting mouse sports in case they get close towards that bench walks it looks like he wants to but left eye peaks movement smooth are going to be favored but he'll just decide to bail Mouse Sports spamming the corner. Chris J running up through middle. And that Molotov as well, cutting off Tissy. And he can't trade. Oh, he can. The smoke blooming. And Chris J walks a bit too far forward. In the meantime, Zatarras is flanked banana. And Mouse Sports are none the wiser. He can just bail out of that one, getting a kill, securing the advantage once again. And considering Mouse Sports don't have A, Big don't need to commit to this mid flank. Oh, but frozen through the edge of that smoke. Oh, oh. and Rops doubling up as well and helping out. Between them, they've opened up the A site once again. Rops and Frozen, they, they've been the uh, the troublesome duo. Smooya uh, not, not able to really get away with a the fight there as well, right? Utility and mid from Mouse Sports just completely, completely. The worst part about that for Zantaras is after he gets that kill, he backs up, which was the right call to make, right? You know, definitely doesn't want to overcommit and give Mouse Sports a way back into that round. But they found a way back up on A. Corner and the jump from Woxic, that's all the info they need. Flash up, Smooya goes back in. He still won't be able to connect. Actually getting caught on the retreat. Chris J, very fast, very furious, and a first fra frag found from Mouse Sports. Oh, it taps him oh. with that decision to stick around up the top of Banana. It did feel like it was only a matter of time. Woxic up on that boost, making quick work of him. And now Zantara's in rotation, just trying to pad the B-bomb site out that much more. If you're Maus, you're already very happy. You're sitting two men up. You know you've pulled a third over towards B. You don't even have to commit to, uh, to either site yet. And it just keeps getting better. The rich keep getting richer. Finally, Tizian able to, uh, to do some damage the way of Maus and does shut Rops down. But it's still this 4v2. And for Maus, they're just going to hit B. They've got Carrigan oh, over in CT spawn. 
And that steals Zintara's attention away for but a second, and that is enough time. Mouse Sports, 5-0 and up. Tizian. Is there an AK in that flower bed? That's the question. I assume so. He did kill Rops earlier, but I didn't see it. Finally grabbed it on that mid-cross, and he will be able to get away with... Of at the porch side and flashes up mid. Tizian gets aggressive and he finds a kill. There's plenty more where that came from. Mouseport still have four players mid and apps bound. Rotates coming back in from big. Carrigan again going through smokes. There's just no fear on Mouseports. And at this point, I don't blame them, but Zantaris is ready and waiting. Ah, oh, but it's Chris J doubling up and just when you think that big might have done enough to find a round just when you think that maybe they've tipped the scales back in their favor there is someone there on the side of mouse to haul them back into this and now a 2v2 doable for either side utility still available for both teams as well you're looking at zintarez for big and you're looking towards chris j for mouse he'll be getting his smoke down over towards moto and that's going to cut Tabson off that much longer. He has managed to retrieve a Molotov. That goes in. And that will force Ooh. Chris J out into the open. Now only Frozen left. He knows where both players are. Oh, and he's done no. damage. But Tabson's still able to get the kill. There's no, no kill. time for the defuse, though. And so they might get all the kills. They might find all five. But it's not a round. It's still Mouse Sports picking it up. Seven and zero. Common, right? You know, just getting three players in banana to here for big. It's Smoothie coming back in with the AWP. He can flash his teammates in. They are only on pistols, so worth the shot, but the T flashes are good. Frozen's in the pool. Zantara is already getting decapitated. That's a quick shot from Smuya, and Tabson getting caught at the back of the site. The Molly landing. He moves to new bot successfully. smuya has gone through the smoke and in with another kill. Still doable as he sits alive at the back of coffins. The site has been cleared, and Mouseports need that plant. Look at that minimap. Tizian and Nex are both just waiting at the bottom of Banana. Only now making their way up. Oh, Smoovy are not quite able to deny the plant, but it's still a third kill. They needed a hero in this round. And Smoovy, he might just be it because now Chris J's fallen as well. It's frozen in the 1v3. Woxic was able to get it done earlier. And now it falls onto what? this man's shoulders, but he's been tagged down low through the coffins. He'll get finished off. And Big, last season of Pro League, we saw Big, obviously on Inferno. Yeah. And now you look at this one, uh, you know, versus Mouseball, it's a team that they are able to get off to a stellar start earlier on on Dust up against. And it sets a bit of a worrying tone, I think, at least initially. It really does seem like Mouse have just... That's what I'm really looking towards here for the big guys. Yeah, you still gotta you, you still gotta get enough rounds to actually give yourself a chance though in that second half. And big starting to mow Mouse Sports down in middle. Finally a change. This little boost up from Nex gets some damage and Tizian converts two kills. Nex will join the tally. That nade. Oh, it could do something, but Frozen gets away. This player's cutting off any chance of them saving, and they're gonna line up for him. So two kills for Tabson, and a big will lock in their second round. 100%. We, we just want to see a few more like this, right? You want to see a couple more. Back-to-back uh... -back flawless rounds. Coming in. <laughs> and Nex is over at long. Let's see. Can he shut this down? He's got players coming his way. Ooh. And he certainly looks up to the task. That smoke's gone a little deep, actually, and gives him a bit of a... a pla uh, it's at least forced all these rotations out from B. And in amidst that, Carrigan has just slipped through the smoke that's down. Big probably believing that that smoke has kept oh, players no. out of B. And that's just not the case as Antares <laughs> walks into his demise. Oh. And that should really be the round. That is next level. What a, what a Carrigan play. Mouseports have just been going through every smoke that Big have placed in this half. They know Rops is here, and Smuya, he's going to... He might just be a couple seconds late to the party, though. Does he check the corner? Oh, Smuya, he's been spotted, and Woxic will deal with him. That's the orb gone. The question is, does he go and take it? Because buying an orb is one thing, but a free orb... ...to, to slow down or need to, like, no. challenge the orb of, uh, of Big just yet. And I feel like, you know, bringing one to the table now, you have... Sports. Where do they go from here? Nex is still up on the top as well. He can cut off this bomb. Chris is going to go through mid, and Nex has found the frag. That's a very important kill to take as it leaves big in a five on three. Mouseports with nowhere to go but the A site. They don't want to double back towards B where they have no map control. Wox are getting picked, and Tabson's going to double it up. Didn't even look like he hit Frozen there, but a headshot coming through regardless. And Rob's, you know, whatever you got, now's the time to show it. One on four. 
If you could get this kill on Smuya, maybe the B site's an option, but does Smuya overstep his you, mark? You know what's going to happen? Oh, I was going to say, the moment Smuya goes to impressed with Mouse Sports' T sides and their C T sides. So. It's got to cross archways. Zantara is coming round the corner, and Carrigan's got to kill. Another gap, another movement behind enemy lines. Will this make things complicated for Big? Will Mouseports back off down mid? That seems to be the case as Carrigan runs through CT. Smooth's got to do it all. Yeah, Carrigan waiting for this rotation and Tabson finding him. This B site was looking like it was signed, sealed, and delivered to Mouse. Now that is not the case about the other positions. So. He's pretty quick on the rotation if needed. Smuya, first man down, second man follows up. And it's zero time. and O? Oh? Zero and eight, sorry. So <laughs> they have managed to dink up Rops, even finding some more damage onto Frozen, but the first kill going the way of Mouse Sports Ooh. at this B side of the map. There nice. we go. Nade gets rid of Frozen, and that's probably tempted them enough. The flashbang actually sends Chris J packing. Carrigan getting one before he goes back through that smoke. So many players bought down low here for Mowers, and the kill's just not getting found. It's Smuya getting dealt with on that flank that maybe makes this... Uh, I was going to say a guaranteed Mao's round with that kill now coming in. I mean, there's no stretch to the imagination in my mind that this could still be around for big. And with shots getting landed like this, it, uh, it seems seems like that might be so. Woxic alone. Bomb down and tick it away. He doesn't have a kit either. Oh, looking for one. And it's right here. Him creeping for that has led him to find both players. That play in a pistol round, right? Big risk, but huge reward. Double nading, frozen there. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the mid site smoke. So that goes down, and that gives them a, a chance to maybe cross into CT. Ooh, like maybe this. you could try and get Centares into CT, and then hope that he could split the A site. Oh, this is just a fake, and it has prompted a rotation. That flashbang raining in through CT. Now let's big know Ooh. that there is a moment where there's one man less at this A side of the map, and so they immediately activate on the back of it. They try and go in, but the two players that are here are doing a stellar job of holding it down. Rops from the pit, remarkable stuff. The first buy round yielding some immediate results for Mowers. Yeah, I mean, that was going bad from the get-go from Big, right? Two of them strafing out onto middle. They can't even get the kill to the player port side. It takes Smooth with the AWP having to get out there and, uh, and do the job. Just missed shots in middle, and by that point, you know, Mouseports knew what was coming. Fantastic Big. Executor about to come through. Only two players to stop it. Yeah, it's Chris J and Frozen. Trying to stand the test of time and already Chris J getting deleted, frozen. A lot of damage there from a position that I'm surprised he even gets one kill from. Woxic desperate to try and deny the bomb plant, arriving Ooh. just a little too late and getting bought down so low. This is a save call already. So far. And also, uh, you know, when we were speaking about saving earlier on in that first half, look. Yeah. A nice default round from Big in the previous, right? Just forcing Mouseports out. Pushing them back in middle, taking top B. Low is the potential that these three players can try and push and prod and get any sort of information. And it's all on the back of that early damage onto Woxic. They're trying to play a very safe style of Counter-Strike at that A site. Carrigan, hoping he can save the day, will manage to... Uh... Ooh, nearly double up through the smoke. He's, get, he's gonna get it, mark my words. Tizian's on one HP, is so low. And now they dart into CT spawn. They're wrapping around. This is chaos, look at that mini-map. There's players lost in the ruins. And now they try and carve a path in from a different oh, angle, no, the but there's the wrap from Chris J. Bomb's been dropped, and this round is all over the place for both of these teams, but it does feel like Mouse Sports, they've gotta have the edge, surely. Nex and Tizian in with the response, but they still haven't found Carrigan. They still haven't dealt with him. They finally deal with the IGL of our sports. And now it's Woxic and Rops, 2v2. Such a back and forth round, and it still feels like it could be anyone's. This next kill oh. between the two Turkish players decides so much. And it's Zantares to get it onto the 5 HP Woxic. Rops 1v2, and that is a tall order.
Yeah, Nate could be good, but it's not going to get a kill. He's got to force both these fights. And Tantara is going to swing absolutely no patience for whatever shenanigans Rops has. And that will be his round three kills from the Turkish Rifler. And yeah, like you said, winning that Turkish one-on-one, -on -one, Harry. In the lead, we talk about money breaking after that previous round. Well, boy, has it happened. Mouse boards are all out of cash, Harry. They're going to get aggressive, try and force some gunfights. Karagans pushed down mid. That's easy running low. He's got to get a reload in. Frozen's found a kill. Banana pushes there. He's got an AK. Bigger falling apart at the seams. Next needs to save the day here from under the, uh, under below. And Carrigan getting caught trying to pick up that orb. It's something here. It's a start for big, but they still haven't even got the bomb. A hey, two down the bottom of Banana. We give up that bomb because big, they've still got to take the time to clear it, right? They don't know that no one's on. What an eco. Frozen. Big round from him. Just pushes down strong. Regardless, I looked at it like they're 8 0. This isn't going wrong. And uh, Tizzy and rocking the Mac 10, but he's already been eliminated. That AWP showing its hand early, and the wall bang from Tabson not going to line up. <laughs> That's just not fair. Zantaro's now he might realize. Yeah, now he knows that Nate gives it away. He's got Chris trapped. Can he keep him there? No. The Molly does send him back. Now, does Chris retreat? A flash going through. Chris catching the timing, and he even hits a shot. Smoothie goes low, and Chris gets a chance to double back. Molotov in as well. There's two low HP players. That Molly will cut them up. Tapson's alone. He's got the bomb as well. That's dropped into the open as Carrigan falls off the top of the site. And a third player's come in for the rotate as well. This is a done deal. Surely, Harry. Bigger left with two, and they still haven't got the bomb. It's all too familiar territory. And kill a scout. Like, that should be an easy job, but Carrigan was already there on top of the boxes. That was not to be a continuous to build upon this lead. Finally coming alive on the second half. They were in the first half at the start, but uh, this has just been so unclear as to who's going to take this thing against. We'd rather just watch for that CT rap instead. Actually just fully giving that up. No one is even accounting for this for mouse balls. Luckily, it won't be a problem. Tabson just goes right through the smoke. Right, right when Woxit turns away. Oh, the timing could not be better. 30 seconds and Tabson, little does he know it, he's about to get a free frag. Woxit not ready and Tabson playing with his food. There's the kill. Now Big can just run inside of the B site, but there's still two more players here. Yeah, it's Frozen and Carrigan. That smoke actually kind of leaves Frozen hidden right now down by the tree. I don't know how what? he's still alive. How is he still going? They finally deal with him. It's smoothier on the double entry, but a 2v2. Oh, that was that was a bit gruesome there. As the ring takes now coming in, Rops, Chris, deceiving end. They've got no utility. They had very little time to get comfortable in this bomb site, so they are just both over at the coffins. They've got to win these fights heads up because there's no playing for the post plant, at least not right now. And Smuya backing oh, off. He's been forced into the ruins. Does he wrap CT or does he try and get them off the bomb in the molly? Oh, he's done it. He does get them off the bomb and there's very little time left. Rops is back on it. It's going to be down to the wire. Oh, oh. it's so close and smuya has got it in the Molotov. He wins the round. Oh, and that is a sour looking Carrigan. He's not happy about that. What? Lots of nades going down, banana. Triple setup here for Mouseports. Taps, and he's going aggressive with that Mac 10 getting away with a kill. One for one, considering the weaponry is decent. And now Taps, and recent in game leader, he can just sit back, relax, and try and guide his team through the madness. Yeah, he'll be leading from beyond the grave, and everyone else a big. Well, oh. they're trying to uh, get down through short. And that first involves getting past Rops. Moxic actually goes barreling through that Moto Smoke, and I love that. He knows they don't have the position on Catwalk to actually shut him down, or short rather. They don't have the lot of the responsibility in this round. Going to fall onto the head of Smuya, and now it is just him in the server. 1v4 this time required, and Woxic homed in. This map, the entire series. Not one that we even thought would go to three initially, but Big have not given up without a fight. Not on dust too much down in pit is that if you take this B site, he's got such a long rotation to come in. So I'm imagining that's what we see now from Big, and they will open up onto Chris J once again, finding their opener yeah. over here at the B site. That Molotov is enough to trade onto Tabson at the very least. And they try smoking through. They try going in on the back of this, on the back of the one kill they were able to get. And that one kill might be it in this round. Oh, they all dear. get shut down. Carrigan and Frozen hold their own. And Mouse Sports, they'll be the first team to pick up a victory here to kickstart season 10 of Pro League. It's a three-map series. It goes the distance. Thank <laughs> you.